this video, I will be showing you and talking to you about five ways that you can stop stress and overwhelm right in the moment. Ready to learn? Welcome to another episode of A Few Minutes with Marvin. I inspire those who aspire to make positive changes in their lives. And uh, yeah, let's, let's, you know, let's talk about um, overwhelm and stress in a moment, right? What are the things that you can do right when it's happening, right? When it's just getting to you, where you just want to explode, right? And that, you know, you're just like, oh my God, I can't take this anymore. What, what, what can I do? Here's what you can do. The first thing that you have to do is be aware, right? Awareness. I know you're saying, yeah, that's, of course, I'm going to be aware that, that I'm overwhelmed. But awareness goes beyond that, right? It's, it's what's going to prevent you from making a rash decision in the moment, right? Or, or reacting in the moment. So when, when things are just becoming, right, or, or situations just happening, what, whatever it is, whether it's at work, school, home, outside, you know what I'm talking about. Your, your mind's racing, you got all kinds of things on your mind and then something else happens, right? Or somebody else, you know, comes in to, to spark, you know, anger in you. Energetically, you can feel when those things are about to happen and you can feel it inside, you know, when you start getting those feelings in your stomach and, you know, and or the anger is boiling up or the confusion or the sadness well whatever emotion it is it's starting to come in find a way to go hold on hold on this thing's gonna boil over and I don't want it to right you need to make that split decision and that's that's being aware in the moment and stopping yourself in the moment just before it happens it's because you just you you already know what the end result is gonna be it, it's happened to you many many times so here's your opportunity to start shifting that. And how does that happen? You have to be aware. You have to make yourself aware every now moment and stop yourself. Even if at first you just stop yourself and you decide to go ahead and get angry and react how you're going to react anyway, right? It's just you have to you have to make it a habit of becoming aware that you can shift this right now if you just stop for a second. So be aware that 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 something's gonna you know erupt in you and, and make give yourself a little bit of a, a window of opportunity to, to respond versus reacting number two is to acknowledge it right? Acknowledge that it's there. Don't ignore it. Don't say, I don't have time for this. Go away, you know, and that's only going to multiply it, right? And you're only going to be feeding it. So it starts to grow, right? Because then you're giving it, you just want to push it away and shove it under the rug like, like everything else, right? But it's on your mind, right? And if it's multiple things, it's even more uh, important that you say, okay, I need to, I need to pause a second what is all this what's going on right now right don't don't say oh go away just okay what are these things come you know after the you now that you're aware that, that they're there acknowledge that they're there okay i see you i choose not to deal with you in this now moment i, I, I just can't do it right but at least you're acknowledging that it's it's a situation but you have to you have to see it then you gotta acknowledge it. Say, hold on, let me put you on timeout for for a minute, an hour, a day, whatever it is, right? So, I know that that seems real trivial, but it's it's another important step, right? To to stop yourself from being so overrun and stressed. Itemize it. What am I being stressed over right now, in this now moment? That's gonna 
you know, make me explode, lose my, lose my shit. <laughs> Number three, you knew you knew this one was coming. Breathe, right? Just pause for a second and breathe. But I, I want to teach you a, a different type of breathing. It's the Tantian breathing, and it's really critical. And this it can, can really just bring you back to center. It can really calm you in the situation, right? The the Chinese believe that the Tantian is behind your navel, right? That's that's your chi, that's your energy, right? So by breathing deeply into that energy, you're gonna cause it to rise up, right? So it can change um, what what your thoughts are, right? And then it'll start helping you release some, you know, hormones or pheromones or whatever to, to kind of calm you, soothe you so that you can handle the situation or handle the crisis or handle whatever is blowing your mind up right now you know um, and it can be anything so let me just teach you really quickly what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put your, your two hands right right around your navel area just kind of in the center of the navel and just below that right that's a tantian region so when you're feeling really really overwhelmed and just you just need to step back you, you really need to take a very deep breath but as you inhale you're letting your stomach fill up with air right so it's like, and do it through your nose, right? And let your stomach blow up like a balloon, right? And then on the exhale, you, you're gonna exhale through your nose, right? So you're inhaling through your nose, you're exhaling through your nose, but as you're exhaling through your nose, keep pushing your stomach, right? So you're, you're pushing your stomach, you're pulling your stomach back to like your spine, right? As you're pushing out, that's how much air you're gonna let out. So you can't let out any more air. And you do that a number of times and you're gonna just feel a new energy flow through your body. And then the, it's just gonna give you a breather, right? Just a moment so that you can process what's happening so that you can fix it, right? That's, that's what you wanna do. You, you know, you don't, you don't wanna blow up you don't want to cause a scene. You don't want to react and, and make things worse, right? You, you want to process it. So the best way is to stop in the moment. And it's always good to take a deep breath, right? And make, make sure you do it through your nose. That's what the nose is there for, breathing. But in that moment, try that Tantian that I just talked to, talked to you about. It, it really helps you focus and center right away because it really is a new energy you're bringing into yourself that's gonna counterbalance that negative craziness that's going on in your mind, you know, it's gonna quell the, the chaos. So that's number three. Number four, and this is especially important when you're at work or you're somewhere where you you just you don't have the time to focus on this other thing right now, right? It's just not a good time, regardless, right? I don't have time for this thing that's gonna give me a headache, that's gonna, you know, mess me up during this test I'm taking at school, right? Or at work, or whatever you happen to be doing. It's just two little words you have to say, um, and, and an action you have to take as well, because it's all about taking your energy back in this now moment. So when you don't have time to deal with whatever's trying to blow you up in the moment, just say, cancel, cancel, right? Almost like a computer, right? Control, alt, delete, cancel, cancel, right? You just don't have the, the, the time right now. So you're canceling that, right? You're, you're, you're putting that in the trash bin, right? You can retrieve it later, but right now, you ain't got time for this, <laughs> right? And don't feel guilty about it. Don't don't uh, don't judge yourself over it. Just say no. Nope, cancel, cancel. Really mean it. Cancel, cancel. Can't do it. Not right now. Not right now. Um, 
And that's just, again, that's just one thing that when you practice enough of, it just always brings you back to, there's an issue there, right? I know that it's there. I can't deal with it right now. And just set an intention to, to deal with it later. And it's, if it's multiple things, right? After you, you know, uh, cancel, cancel, right? You don't want to deal with any of it right now. Write a list, prioritize. What do I need to do? What's, what's, what, in what order am I going to handle this? Because I have to handle it at some point. Not right now. So start with the most important thing that you have to handle and just write the list and then tackle them one at a time. It doesn't have to be one right after the other. It could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be the next day, but at least you have some kind of priority, right? Now that you've canceled it, you're only staging it, right? To later, so, so that you can give it your full attention. Right? That's the currency of the universe. Pay attention. So when you go back to pay attention to it, now you're going to do it with more clarity. And you're going to do it in the order it needs to be taken care of. So that's, that's number four. And number five, it's walk away. <laughs> now, th this one's tough for people uh, because they, we've been ingrained in our heads that we have to attack, right? You know, fix it in the moment or just ignore it and, and it'll go away. Well, neither of those things work in, in a lot of situations. They can work, but most times they don't. So just getting up. And walking away from the situation, from the person, whether they're offended by it or not, it's better to just get yourself out of that situation in the moment. No matter what it is, no matter what, it, what you have to do, right? Go outside, open the window, you know, put headphones on. It's, it's not ignoring it, but you need, you need to get yourself out of there mentally. This is a mental exercise. Just say, okay, this isn't going to end well if, if I stay here. So let me get up and walk away. And that can be for anything, right? If, if you got a midterm exam, you know, or a paper that, that's due, and, you know, you're trying to cram it in, and you're just sitting there and nothing's coming, walk away. If you're an artist and you're, you've been commissioned to, to do this beautiful portrait, and you're just sitting there and, and you're stuck, right? Get up and walk away. Same thing with writers, the writer's block. Get up and walk away. And it, it, it can be with any situation. Somebody committed bank fraud, right? They, they stole your identity and you're, you're about to, to lose your crap, right? There, there are steps you need to take, right? And, and getting all anxious and upset is, is only going to make it worse. So walk away from it. Go, all right. I know it's there. I can't deal with this right now. Give yourself the time so that when you come back to it, you, you're, you're better able to deal with it because you took yourself out of the situation. And that can go, you know, in a number of things, physical fights or altercations or disagreements. You, you know the scenarios. They're, they're all very important to you in a, in a moment, but there's nothing that can't that you can't just walk away from in a moment. You know, even, even if it offends somebody, you have you, you have to get out of the mindset that, that you're offending anybody else, right? Don't offend yourself, right? And if, if that action that you're about to take is gonna wind up in some kind of offense that's gonna cost you later, don't do it. Walk away. Not with your held, you know, head between your legs, say, I, I'm not ready to handle this right now. Acknowledge that. It's okay. Right? The more, the more you're able to do these things, the, the more you can handle things. Because you, you can handle anything that comes your way. You, you really can. But in the moment, it, it's difficult. And I, and I get it. You know, Speaking from experience, it's happened to me many times. It continues to happen to me, but 
I'm aware now, right? And I, and I allow and acknowledge those things to be there. And then I prioritize them, right? And then I cancel them when I have to cancel them. And I walk away if I want to have to walk away. But most importantly, I always breathe. So breathing should be the, the number one thing that you do before, um, at, before you become over, overwhelmed or as you're becoming overwhelmed in any situation, right? Take the time to breathe. It's so important. So, those, those are the five things that you can do in the moment when you're feeling panicked or stressed or overwhelmed um, physically or mentally, you know, emotionally. Um, they, they really work. But you have to, you have to, you have to make sure that, that you're in alignment with them, and that, that you take them to heart and you do them constantly. You have to break those old habits, right? So just going here forward, just be mindful, be aware, do the breathing, right? And even, you can even do this one. It, it, it's called the three B's and it's breath, body, and, and, um, and brow center. And, and I've put this in other videos as well. Just put your right hand over your heart, your left hand on your, just above your belly button, right? Then take a deep breath, right? And then if there's any tension in your body, right? You wanna take your next breath as if you're projecting your breath into that pain or that feeling or that stress, right? And then exhale that out. Um, and then you just want to take a third breath and release all that, that, that doesn't serve you in that moment, right? Pain, suffering, anything. But this time, go into slight meditation. I'm not saying it's a meditation. It's You're just coming to, to, to center, right? But when you close your eyes, roll your eyeballs up to look into your brow center here. So that's the third B, right? So you're looking up into your brow center. And that just gives you a focal point, right? as you continue to breathe and just do that for a few minutes and it'll bring you back to center these things really work if if you allow them to so try them all you can do is try and if it doesn't work for you it doesn't work for you but if you don't try you'll never know i know that's cliche but it is a, there's a lot of truth behind that so i hope this video finds you well and and gives you some insight and, and helps you Stop and, and, and recenter before reacting, before um, losing your, your cool. <laughs> because it, in the end, it, in the end, it just doesn't help you at all. Not at all. And it doesn't help the situation. It doesn't help anybody else. So become aware. You can do it. And have an amazing day.